The series shifts locations as we get set for a big one. Game three of the NBA Finals, right here on EA Sports. From American Airlines Center in Dallas, tonight, the Dallas Mavericks getting set to match up with the New York Knicks. Alongside Jay Williams, I'm Ed Cohen. Jay, you look at the Knicks coming into play. They won both games on the road, and now they need just one more to claim the NBA championship. The one thing we know about playoff basketball, expect the unexpected. How many games come down to the wire for a performance off the bench or even a big shot at the end? Every night holds something different, and that's why we love this game so much. Lee with the basketball, just getting started in game three. Oh, no, he can't guard you out there. Oh, driving, but he can't connect. It's easy for the offense to get agitated when you keep turning around and the defense is right there in your face. The jawing is only going to escalate. Gets to the basket and scores. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. I'm hearing some boos from the crowd. They know just like I know you're not getting back on D. Paul into the front court. Down six. Knocked loose. Porzingis for two. Gets a look. Can't hit. And that's how you make a difference. Every shot that the offense takes, make sure that it has a 10 as far as degree of difficulty. That's toughness right there. Physical inside. Gets it to go. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Ooh, Chris Paul. Missed his first, that one goes. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Finishing inside the paint on that one. They're gonna have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Here's Paul, brings it up the floor. Knocked loose. Chance for Chris Paul. Rebound hauled in by New York. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. This comes down to great execution, both on the offensive and defensive end of the floor. Let's see if they can carry this into the second quarter. To Porzingis. Doncic. They get it down to Paul. Ooh, Chris Paul. Two or four now. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. To Gortat. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. It's a turnover as they head the other way. The possession lies with New York. Runners good there. And if you're on defense on that last possession, no need to look over to the coach's bench, hold up your arms, wonder what did you do. Everybody got back. Everybody communicated. Everybody pointed. It was just better offense than it was defense. Smith with the basketball. Up a dozen. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Free throws good as they continue to widen their lead. Paul across the timeline. Looking to make something happen. Ooh, Chris Paul. He's three of five. 60% shooting from the field. He has that sixth sense that you just can't teach. He's like a traffic cop, and he's navigating a myriad of bodies coming his way. And there's a smaller innuendo of the game that nobody talks about. When he makes a great pass, he'll tell the offensive player, shoot it, go up, dunk it. He will direct you and lead you to success.
Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. To the rim, lays it up and in. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Here's Paul, controlling the offense. Ooh, Chris Paul. He's now four for six. There's a sixth sense there that you just can't teach. If you're a player on the same team with CP3, you should be taking that point guard out to dinner every single night. There's something to be said about a guard that makes the game way easier for you to be even more of an efficient offensive player. Paul into the front court, counting down towards one minute to play here in the opening quarter. Whoa, what a finish. Jay, perhaps that's a start. Those kind of plays get me fired up. That's a momentum play. They look lifeless here in the first quarter, but a dunk like that can get your team going in the right direction. Has a look. And the rebound taken by the big lefty, Monroe. Oh, he had it. Because he had no body control. You have to be able to control your body when you attack the rim at full speed. That's part of your concentration. People assume concentration just on the rim, but your body control is everything. Be able to speed yourself up or slow yourself down. With The Rock, it's Chris Paul. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes the screen. Paul. Surveys the floor. To Paul. Five on the shot clock for the Mavs. Paul. His first effort off the mark. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. End to end on that one. 94 feet for the basket. That's the end of one here in game number three. Jay and I are back after this. It's a 2019 NBA Finals, and it's on EA Sports. Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get the... We got this. Let's go. Short jumper off the mark. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. In a flash, scores at the rim. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. From the painted area, won't go down. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer, and scores on the step back. Unguardable jet. So the two teams will head to the locker room as we reach the break here in game number three. Let's get you to Orlando, where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. Hello everyone, I'm Jalen Rose, and this is your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Knicks are in a close game thus far. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the New York Knicks. The Mavericks are still 
Player of the Half. I'm ready to skip ahead and just get this guy player of the game. You can tell he's on his way to a special game. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. These are the top plays from the opening half. Number two. Number one. And that concludes our report. Thanks for joining us. And see you again after the game. finish at the rim. It's almost like he had the defender on a string, and he's the puppet master. <laughs> Knock loose. The jab step opens up space to knock down the jumper. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Knock loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Here's your chance to break this thing wide open. Layup goes down. Well done. And the true test of a team's character is how they respond when they get hit in the mouth. Keep digging. To Monroe. Knock loose. A oh, big finish at the rim. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Cash is in for two. No doubt about where that one was headed. To Hardaway. Beyond the arc for three. Buries it on the catch and shoot. Consistency wins a game. Sometimes you have to double down. I'm sure that's what their coach told them to do in the locker room. Keep shooting your shot. Count the bucket for two. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Got it. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Lays it up and in. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. It's the Mavericks right now at the control. Doesn't have the touch. No good. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. Here on their home floor, they're chipping away. I mean, does this crowd have a pulse? Are they even alive? Sometimes when you make a play like that, your crowd needs to get you back in this ballgame. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Count the basket inside. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. On a pass stolen by the Knicks. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. Clark with it. Down a bundle. Too much contact. And free throws coming. Sometimes when you get up big, you get a little careless. 
but attention to detail through the end, that's how you avoid unnecessary fouls. Knocks down the first. And gets both to drop at the line. Knicks with the basketball. Count the basket at the rim. Man, if we were at Rucker Park right now, everybody would be wilding on the court. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah. Me and you. Me and you. Hey, big three right there. Big three. To Monroe. A oh, mistake there as the pass stolen by the Knicks. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Hardaway, down low to Monroe. It's good. And one. As you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Ian Clark trying to cash in on the three-point play. For his career, 78% at the line. Off the mark on his free throw. Easy pat to the rim. Did you see that change of direction mid-flight? And also the English he utilized to spin the ball off the rim? That was a thing of beauty. Dallas with the possession. Screen coming. Has a chance. Rebound comes down to the Knicks. That ends the third quarter. The Knicks are way out in front. The Knicks to inbound here to start the fourth. Here's CP3. Gets a look. Can't hit. He gets it. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Knock loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Defense forces the turnover, and it leads to points. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. Knock loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. That's all she wrote. Dribble it out. Defense forces the turnover, and it leads to points. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. Here's Paul. Brings it up the floor. A drive down the lane, but the shot won't go down. And you see so many players quit on the play after they were beat the first time, but not him. He stayed on his hip, he fought back, and he made the player miss the shot. That's great defense. To Porzingis. March 
Christian Gortat with a piece. Paul, that kid can block out the sun, man. Marchin Gortat snatching it out of the air. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Marchin Gortat. Ah, oh, you've got to get that one to go. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Knock loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. You better get back on D. This thing is not over. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. Sometimes you hear people give all these fancy breakdowns, tell you all these different things they can do. That was just plain old simple bully basketball. Muscled his way through the lane. Doncic to Porzingis. Dallas with four to shoot. Lee. That's how you defend. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. And count the basket inside. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. And they call the foul. Felt the breeze there, Jay. Ed, you can't lunge like that. Porzingis. Download to Monroe. Oh, it's Gortat with the rebound. And you knew this game had a chance to get out of hand pretty quickly because of the communication. When these guys stepped on the court, Ed, they were yapping back and forth to each other. And that kind of communication, that kind of collective responsibility to one another, you feel that on the court. That's why this team is special. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Knicks have come out on top. Congratulations to them and all of their fans around the world. This is a night they'll never forget. Check out the leading scores for the New York Knicks. Player of the game. I like this choice because he really on this game. There's a reason he's a fan favorite. And that does it for another NBA season. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, thanks for making us your choice for Hoops Action. Thank <laughs> you.